Okay, so this problem QS is 6. QS is a distance from this point Q to S, and altogether it's 6, which means that if this whole section right here from P to S is 10, that PQ right here must be 4. Now that we know that, we also know QR is equal to RS. So here's QR, this little section, and it's equal to RS right here. So QR and RS are equal, and altogether they're 6, that means they're each 3. They want to know what's the length of PT. Well, here's P, and here's T, so they want to know this whole, that, that whole distance PT. And altogether, we have, well, 7 centimeters here, but RS is 3 of those centimeters. So this, from S to T, right here, if the whole thing was 7 and this little chunk right here is 3, that must be 4. And altogether, it's 14 centimeters. The 10 centimeters here and the 4 in the next section. In this question, we have an algebra situation where there's some amount of seats x in one theater and there are y seats in the other theater. And we have now a relationship between those two variables. So the Baker Theater, would we'll label it, is the y and the Ralston is the x. So the Baker Theater has three more than twice as many seats as the Ralston Theater. Which means if we knew the amount of seats at the Ralston Theater and we added three more to that than twice as many seats as they have, we would get what Baker has. So we want to know what is the value of y in terms of x. So how do you describe what Baker has in terms of what Ralston has? And I think that we have that set up right here in this situation, this equation. This says three more than twice the number of seats. Problem right here, <coughs> we know that P is the center of our circle, and we know that this BC is a diameter, and that the perimeter of our rectangle ABCD all the way around the perimeter is 48 centimeters. And our last clue is that um, PQ is a radius. They say that right here. Okay, so this is a rectangle. That means that PQ equals BA and CD. Rectangles don't bend down in the middle. That's not how they work. So they're all equal distances. And it's also equal to these distances. Change color. These two distances right here which means they're equal to these two right here. How did I know that? Well, we have a circle, and the radius is right here because it goes from the origin of the circle to the outer edge, and these lines do the same thing. And if you have a circle, all the radius, radii, I guess, um, are equal. So that means that this is equal to that, equal to that, 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 that. They're all equal, and that's going to help us. So how do you find perimeter? Well, you take two of the widths and you add them to two of the lengths and you get 48 centimeters. But we have two variables here and only one number so we need to kind of narrow that down to one variable and then we can solve for uh, our length and our width and find whatever we want to find the area of the circle. Because we want to know for finding area how long is one of these radii. Okay, what do we do? Well, if we look at our picture, the red, let's say, represents the width and let's say that the blue represents the length. Notice if they're all equal and the width is two of these lines and the, the length is one, that means that the width is twice as long as the length. So you take whatever the length is, multiply it by two, and you would get the width. Again, the length is this blue part right here. Multiply it by two, you would get two of these bars and thus get the width. So how does that help us? Well, we can use this to kind of substitute into our equation right here. So 2w plus 2l, well, 2l is w, so now we have a simpler equation, and that equals 48 centimeters. If we have two w's and another w, we have three w's, equal to 48 centimeters. And we divide by three, 48 divided by three is 16, um, and again, I did it fast because I knew that um, 3 goes into 30 10 times, and there are 18 left over in 48, so 
w is 16. So the width um, is equal to 16 centimeters. So what does that mean? Well, we said this whole thing right here is the width. So that means that the radius is going to be 8, half of the width or diameter, because the radius equals 1 half of the diameter. So in this case, 8 is our radius. We use the formula pi r squared to find the area of our circle, which is pi times 64, 8 squared. And there it is right there, 64 times pi. Remember, pi times 64 is the same thing as 64 times pi.